Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to resize and resave a folder of images fairly quickly and easily. So here we have a folder full of images and to select them all I'm just going to press Control A or you could just select a few of them if you wanted. And so we have 230 images we want to resize and save as JPEGs. Right now they're TIFFs. So to do that I'm going to go up to Tools, Photoshop and then image processor and this opens them up in Photoshop before I was working in Adobe Bridge and then there's four steps here uh, to work through. The first one this is just if they're, the images are in camera raw when you start so if they're already in TIFF or some other format nothing will happen if you select this or not. Second spot is where you're going to save the images find a folder or save them in the same location and then the file type if you want to save them as JPEG Photoshop document or a TIFF file uh, just to show you, I'm going to save them as JPEG and Photoshop documents. The quality here, you can type in any number, but it'll give you an error. Uh, it's between 1 and 12, quality 12 being the best. And if you're going to use them on the web, you should also convert profile to sRGB. And then resize to fit. There you can resize the width and the height. And this will make the maximum dimension this. So if I type in 300 by 300, if I have a horizontal image, the width will be 300 and the height will be something else. It won't resize it to be a square. It'll still keep the proportions of the image. This maximize compatibility with the Photoshop document it will keep it easy to open with earlier versions of Photoshop. And then TIFF. If you want to keep your images small, you can use this LZW compression. It's lossless, so you won't uh, reduce the quality at all. And then a action. You can also do run an action on the images if you want. Uh, I won't do that now. And then if you want to save these settings, you can save them for another time and then load the settings. And then, all right, so I'll start the run. And now it'll rip through all my images, saving them as I requested. And if, for example, you realize that you want, did something wrong, and if you now realize that you wanted to change actually one setting, if you press the escape button, this here process will stop. And you can start it over. So when you go into your folder, Photoshop, saves them nicely in three different folders of JPEG, Photoshop, and TIFF. So it keeps things nicely organized and you know which images are the correct ones. And it also nicely resized it with the height being 300 and the top being an arbitrary amount that fit. And that's all you have to do. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com. <laughs>